You're tuned in to Dynamics Talk, hosted by the one and only Dion Taylor. Hey guys, Dion Taylor here. In this video, I'm gonna be discussing a new preview feature that is called Secured Masking Roles. And this feature actually stacks on top of the column security that we already have. Now there is a little bit of a difference with regular column security. The only thing that we can do is let people either update, right, create or read the, the data that's inside of that column. And if you can't read, then you cannot read anything, not even the partial data in that particular column. And that's really where this new feature comes in. Think about maybe you need to secure a field that contains a social security number, but you want people to be able to maybe read the last four digits, right? We couldn't do that before, but with this new feature, we're actually gonna be able to do that. Let's go ahead and take a look. So in this example, I created two masking roles, one for the email column and one for the description column, because you can see it looks a little bit different, right? So what I ended up doing is I just wanted to hide that part before the domain of the email address. So you can see here, I can't see anything but the domain at fakeemail.com. And the same thing here, I can see everything else in the description field. The email address that's mentioned here is still, right? And then we can see only the domain of the email address entered in that particular field. Now, since I have access to this, I'm gonna click here on edit. And you can see here now that if I wanted to read what is in this column, same thing below here, I have this little icon here that is gonna allow me to show the data in that particular column. Now today, you're gonna to notice that the only people that will actually see this, this show hide uh, icon over here are people with a system administrator role, but I'm sure that's gonna be changed because we're not gonna give every user system administrator roles, right? So keep that in mind as well. The other thing that I wanted to mention here is that these masking rules are also going to honor when we're looking at data in, as you can see here, the summary view of an audit. So here you can see uh, that I did an update. So when I, when I actually go over here and check that update that I did, if I click here on view detail, it's going to also right show me the mass data. Now here I only I changed the email address as you can see here from a Gmail email address to the at fakeemail.com. So it's going to honor that. Also, anytime when you actually read a particular column, right, that has that masking rule, you're going to see that it's also going to show that. So I can see the record that I read, the entity, right? And then again, you can see here the event is I read an unmasked. Uh, that's the name of the uh, the event. So that's, I read uh, a particular detail in the Angel Castellar, right, record, fake record that we have in here. Now it doesn't tell me which column. I would really love to see which column that I read as well, especially if you have multiple masking rules in there. Now I wanted to go back here to the contact record because something that I did find is when you go actually here into the audit history, let's just give it a second while this loads, you can see that it does not honor that, right? I can see here the full email address, I can see here the new value in there as well. Um, so if you see this, Microsoft is going to fix this. I let them know that it's not being honored if you go here to the audit history from that particular row inside of Dataverse. So now let's take a look to see how we can create those masking rules. Now, before I do that, I wanted you guys to see that there is actually some masking rules that are already included if you go to default solution, right? So all you have to do is you will open the default solution. You will navigate here to this top part under options and you can search for secured masking rule. And then you can see some of them that are already in there. This is actually the one that I created uh, myself, but again, there's already a couple of them in there. Now I created my own one because again, I wanted to show the domain 
uh, of that email address, right? And not just, I think if you use this one, you, you should try it to kind of see what it does. But I believe that this one just masks everything, right? So you're not gonna be able to see any data related to that. Now, let's go ahead and let me show you how you can create your own custom masking rules here inside of the application. So I've already created this solution that's called Dataverse Masking Rules. And I'm gonna go here into new and then security. And then here you can see the secured masking rule that I can add to this solution. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And the first thing that I need to enter is the name and you have to put this system name in here. So I'm gonna say email show domain. The display name is email showing the domain, right? We're hiding everything else. You can do the same thing in a description and email showing the domain, hiding the rest or masking the rest, whatever you wanna put in there. And then here for this regex expression, if you're not familiar with that or you don't know how to write those, don't panic, I didn't know how to do that either. So I just used Copilot to come up with that expression for me, right? You just tell it what you want it to do and then it comes up with an expression. And this is the one that I used for this particular ex for example where I'm only showing the domain of that email address, right? The rest, whatever else is in that column is gonna be shown, um, but not that first part of that email address. And then here you have the masked character. Now you noticed probably when I showed you what it looked like once you have this configured that you saw the asterisk, right? Where uh, in, in, in the place of the front part of that email address. This is where you're going to choose your character. You can also say, I'm gonna do something else, right? I'm gonna maybe do this number sign. So that's what that is. And then here you're going to enter the uh, the data in here to, so you can see what it looks like. So I'm gonna say the email address is john at email.com. I'm gonna do the same thing in my rich text field so I can see what this looks like. You gotta hit save once people once you have enabled this and people have read access to that particular column. Now, when I say read access, I'm talking about the default uh, feature or default setting or access level, whatever you want to call it, that we have in column security, right? Now, if people want, if you want to give people access to actually view, right, what is in front of this email address, that is a separate setting. And I'll show you that in a second, right? So once you've done this, you can just go ahead and click save and close. Yep, we created a new Dataverse masking rule. Now masking rules can only be added to columns that have column security enabled, right? So we're gonna go and grab the table and then also the columns for which we want to enable that column security. So I'm going to say, I'm going to add an existing table and that is my contact table. I just go ahead and add that. Here's my contact table and we're going to clear all the objects. And the only columns that we want is the email address and the description as well. So we're going to go ahead and add that. Oh, it says one column. Let's just add a columns here and try this again. You want email address as well. We're gonna add this to our solution. And then we're going to go to those columns. And let's just go ahead and do that. And we're going to enable column level security. You can do that by just clicking on here. Now you also notice that while I'm enabling the column security, now I have the ability to select a masking rule, right? And you saw that this is the one that I just created. So I'm gonna click on that and I'm gonna go ahead and click 
save. And I'm going to do the same thing with the email column as well. Here we go. And let's now go ahead and do the same thing for the email address field. And here again, we're going to set this to enable column security. And we're going to do again, the email showing domain, and then we're going to save and close that. Okay, so once that is done, there's obviously another thing that we need to do, right? Now, again, I mentioned previously that when it comes to permissions, currently the only folks that can see that little read button inside of that form on that column, right, is only available to people who have the system administrator role. But again, that I'm sure that's going to change because otherwise this would be completely useless. So what we're going to do here is we're now going to configure those permissions to give certain users access to the data that's being masked, right? So I'm going to go ahead and create a new column security profile. So I'm just going to go ahead and go back to all here. I'm going to say we're going to create a new security here column security profile. So here are we going to say email mask profile. I'm going to go ahead and actually call this one so it's easier to find if I need to do that. And these are all of the columns that have security, right? Column security on it. Now you can see we previously used to have read, update, or create privileges, right? Now the thing that's been added is the read unmasked, right? So if I go here to email address, oops, let's try this again, to email address, I can give it read access, read unmasked, update, and create. And the same thing for that description field, right? So I can do that by just clicking here on edit. And then I can say, is it allowed or not? It's going to say here, as you can see, read unmasked is NA. Not sure why that's happening. Let me just go ahead and do a refresh and then try again. Let's go ahead and do that. Just give it a second here. Okay, let's try that again. So we're going to go to email address. We're going to click on edit. And now we're going to do allowed. And as you can see here, it says all records or one record. Now, according to the Microsoft documentation, what they're saying about the all records privilege on the read on mask is that this setting is highly privileged. Read on masks should only be allowed for backend services that require unmasked values for backend processing. So that's what that all records is. When we're talking about giving access to our users, we're going to either do not allowed or we're going to do one record. Now, after you save that column security profile, then you can just go in and add the users directly from within here. So you're going to click add users. I can, I don't have to add myself because I have system admin, right? But you can just go ahead and find your users and then you can add them to this column security profile to give them access. However, you have configured that. Now I did want to show you some of the, the different experiences or the different views that people get depending on their access level. So this is what is going to be visible for folks if they have the following access levels, right? On that column security profile. So if you have read to not allowed, right? They're not going to see anything, right? Read unmasked, even if you said to read unmasked for that to be allowed, 
they're not going to be able to read the column to begin with, right? So they're just going to see what you see in that first description in this particular case. That is just everything is, 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 um, is masked, right? Just like I said, if you, same thing, if you would have that read a mask set to allowed. The second one, when they have read access, but they don't have access to read your, your mask, right? Read a mask, not allowed. You can see that I can see everything in the column except for the masking, uh, what the masking rule is basically blanking out for me. And then you also saw this, right? If you have read on masks, access you're going to be able to see that little icon that eye icon that you see over here um, which again today is only available for people with system admin roles but i'm sure in the future right people who have the correct security associated to their user uh, will be able to to read that particular column pretty cool new feature right i think this is going to be very helpful for our admins to be able to configure this type of functionality. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, don't forget to hit that like button. Also, don't forget to subscribe so you'll never miss another video again. Thanks for watching. Until next time.